So, you want to swim, but you don't know how to swim. So, where do you start off? If you wanted to get insurance before you skydive, that would be a smart move, <laughs> wouldn't it? Same goes with swimming. You don't want to jump into the water and then end up drowning by accident. So, why take the chance? The way to protect yourself insurance-wise when it comes to swimming is to get one of these things. Now, this is called a flotation belt. Why don't I just wear a life jacket instead? to help you keep you floating. Well, a flotation belt helps to keep you floating and it allows you to move around at the same time. When you wear a life jacket, the life jacket is supposed to just keep you above the water in a vertical position. So it keeps your head above the water and comfortable. And it's usually built for people who can't swim. So people who can't swim, they want to be standing upright in the water so they can get their neck and face out and breathe comfortably. But when you try to swim with a life jacket, it's just, it's just impossible because it's just too bulky. You can't move your arms and legs in the X axis. No, it's just, it's just keeping you in that Y axis position. So, instead of a life jacket, it's better to wear a flotation belt. Now, you've probably seen this if you spend some time at your community pool. You've seen it in a lot of seniors wear this for good reason, okay? Some of them, or we'll say most of them, can't swim in deep water secretly. So, in order for them to move around in deep water, in order to do those aqua aerobics classes that you see, they have to wear something like this around their waist. So as you can see, I wear it very tight because if it's loose, it's going to shoot right up to my neck. When you put on a flotation belt, wear it like this, nice and tight around your, your waist. And you slowly enter the water, okay? You don't jump in, you don't dive in, you don't have to do any of that. You just slowly into the water and you just, you see what I'm doing right now? Okay, all I'm doing is just getting comfortable in the water and I'm in shallow water right now, just walking around. So gradually, I'm gonna have to let go of a few things in order to see if this thing works, okay? So the best or safest way to test out your flotation belt is to grab onto the wall, okay? Grab onto the wall, like this, and see if it floats. Lift both legs up. Lift one leg up, lift two legs up. And most of the time, it does work. I'm gonna hold onto the wall. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, it does work. Because I'm floating. And I'm a, I'm a really muscular guy, so muscle sinks, fat floats. So I sink like a rock. But with this thing on, I'm able to float on my back pretty easily. Let go of the wall. Look up. But if you're having a hard time floating in your back without a flotation belt, don't worry. The only time we do this is when my back kick up. So now we've entered the deep end, and this is the real test of how a flotation belt works, okay? So now our goal is to likely tread water if we want to. So I'm going to tread water right now. And as you can see, the belt helps when I'm treading water. Fun fact, when you tread water, you don't want to be doing it during your sessions, okay? Most swimmers, in reality, we just do our laps and then we go home. We don't add a treading water session to our workout. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the thing is, we only use treading water for emergency purposes only, or if we're just playing around in the deep end with our friends. For an emergency situation, it's just like fighting. You don't fight for recreation, you fight for emergency situations only. That's the last thing you want to do. This is the last thing I want to be doing in the pool <laughs> during my regular sessions every day. I don't want to be doing this. Only for emergency situations 
only, okay? So get that in your head. We don't do this for fun. This is the last thing I want to be doing. Because it takes a lot of energy, it just takes... It, it, you might as well just go home after, okay? After you tread water, because it takes a lot out of you. So, keep that in mind. Emergency, emergency, okay? If I, I need to scan 360 degrees, because I don't know where the hell I'm going, then I got in treading water mode. But this is the ideal situation I want to be in most of the time when I'm in the deep end. Grabbing onto the wall, okay? Grabbing onto the wall of my feet, grabbing onto the wall of my hands. That's, that's it. And then I do my strokes going that way, back to the shallow end. And that's what you should be spending most of your time doing, swimming back and forth. Now, the great thing about this flotation belt is it doesn't get in the way of your arms and legs. When you're doing any stroke, breaststroke, front crawl, back crawl, it doesn't get in the way. And it keeps you up along the surface. So let's test out this flotation belt doing some strokes, okay? Here we go. Can I swim with the flotation belt? Yeah. Does it help with my swimming? Uh, kind of. The thing about this belt is, right now, as you can see, it's pretty tight around my waist. So it's kind of like squeezing my air chamber, <laughs> kind of like choking me in the waist. But that's fine, I can deal with that. And another thing is, it's pulling my midsection up along the surface of the water. So if you're doing something like, like breaststroke, like what I was trying to do, you need to sink your body down into the water into a crouching position and then extend. But it's kind of hard to crouch when your midsection is being lifted up into the air. You need to be in the water as you're doing this crouching position when you do breaststroke. So if you're a complete beginner and you're scared of the deep end, then this is your insurance plan. Wearing a flotation belt. And I recommend that you wear this for the first week or so, as you're trying to get accustomed to your new environment. Because being in the deep end for the first time is a very strange and intimidating experience. You don't know what the angles are, what to expect. You fear for your life. I know what it's like, it's like skydiving. The first time you do it, you're freaking out because you're so high up there. But after you do it like a thousand times, the distance from you, from the airplane down to the ground is like nothing. It's like you already know in your head. Try it out, flotation belt, it works. And pro tip, the heavier the flotation belt or the thicker the material, the more it will hold you up on the deep end, okay? So what I'm saying is that if you wear a thin flotation belt, it won't, it won't keep you up to the surface. It's not strong enough to compared to a heavy thick belt. So. Let me test this one out. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. All right.